Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video about nodes today because I feel like it is a topic that beginner succulent and cacti growers should know about um, because it's helpful for getting you new plants. So whenever you're cutting your succulents or your cacti, you want to be paying attention to where those nodes are. The other places from which the leaves are growing out, you can see them pretty clearly on these purple hearts also because they look like completely different sections of plants. The same on elephant bush also, which you'll see a little bit later. But when you are making your cuts on these plants, you want to be cutting just below the node, right? Like I just did right here. Um, you want to make sure you keep it intact so that way the root growth can be as successful as possible. And what I'll probably do is take off the leaves that are growing from it at the bottom, which is not a problem because for most succulents, you can also get new growth from the leaf itself. So I'm going to cut this a few times just below the nodes so that way I can have a few different plants growing. These do root pretty quickly also, especially when you're cutting them here. And we got another one cut right there. So our three sections and we want to make sure when we are planting them, we are planting them in the same direction that they were in, which sometimes is hard when you are making multiple cuts. Same goes for other plants that have nodes also. So these sedum especially, these are really easy to propagate, but again, you just want to look for little nodes here and that's where you would want to cut them. So for this one, we can cut it again right beneath and here, beneath the node, okay, over the top. You can see it, you know that it's node because the leaves, because the leaves are growing out of it right there. here because you can see that there's new growth coming right out of it there. Let's see if you can see it goes from. Yep. So that's where the roots will come out of. Same goes for Kalinkoe also. So whenever I cut Kalinkoe, I'll cut it again right beneath the I just want to show you some elephant bush because this is another um, one that's really easy to see nodes on the stems and it's also um, useful for a few reasons. One, uh, and this is part of the reason why people use this for uh, bonsai, is because when you cut it off at the node, I'm not sure if you can see here, so this is one point where I cut it off at the node, um, you can see that multiple heads are now growing out of that node there. Um, you can see the same thing. I'm not sure if you can see it down in here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, so where I cut this off at a node here, and then two more are growing out of it. So this is really nice for, like, as a practice for creating a fuller looking elephant bush tree. Um, and then typically what I will do is, you know, trim down the cutting too, so that way the node is at the bottom so the roots can just grow from that. And this does apply for plants other than succulents also. So even if you look within this pot, uh, my, my wandering dude, you can see that at each of the nodes on the plant stem, there are roots growing out of it. So really any like, you know, wandering or traveling plants, that's where you will see the roots growing from, um, the different nodes in the stem. So this is important not only for 
cacti and succulents, but also for various other plants. When we are considering where to cut cacti also, the nodes is, the nodes are the place to go. So this one you can see is hanging over near my pool, so that's no good. <laughs> so I needed to cut this one. Um, so I'm gonna be cutting it here at the node. I also could cut it at this node here. Um, I might just leave it for now, just because I'm getting this cutting. And then the one right behind it, same thing. It also has a node at the top. I'm gonna cut it right at that point. And that's gonna allow the original cactus to continue growing without looking really weird. And then it allows for the roots to grow much more quickly from the top piece. So that's what we're going to at least attempt to cut off right now. I hope my shears here are, are sharp enough. So really, if you can get in, for some you can, let me see if I can even snap it off at the, I might be able to, but let me just cut it so it's a cleaner cut. There we go. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to let that callus over, obviously. And then the top here. Um, that should allow it to continue growing. And even, you know, if it didn't, it uh, doesn't look too bad when it's already at a part that's kind of pulled over. So, same thing with this. The funny looking one also. Grab it and get it right at the nub there. Perfect again. This one. And I actually have one right behind it. I'm just gonna get that one while we're here. And this one, same thing. There's a node right down here. And again, I can probably, if I tilted it to the side enough, it probably would just pop off there, but I need to if I have shears. There we go. That piece also just kind of bending over. Pretty funny piece. Let's see if there's any other ones. Yes, there are. Right. Here we go again. We're just gonna keep on, uh, keep on scooting down here and grabbing some more. So we have another one here. If I can cut um, right here at the node. Actually, this one is about to fall off. So let's see how we can just pull it because this is the smallest kind of piece here. We did just have a lot of wind from Hurricane Ian, so a lot of my longer cactus are wobbly right now. So I'm gonna help them out a little bit before they end up just falling over on their own. So same with this here. You can see this one. I'm gonna move this out of the way. This one has the same node right here and it's a little bit wobbly also okay. another and another right here this one he was kind of barely even hanging on all right oh there's so many more <laughs> as you can see <laughs> the triangle cactus um, grows really well here and all of these ones were actually cuttings from my original cactus in the front so it's just the sand that keeps on on giving all right so down here I'll cut this one this one is just so funny looking i love this one because it looks like two entirely different cactus because this one at the bottom is so you can see it's flat right here and then at this point it gets that really funny shape. But we're gonna go for this too. There we go. Because when they get that skinny, eventually they're gonna fall over. And I have about three more here with the same situation. And I've been looking to do another rooting video anyway, so now I'll have some tiny cactus to work with. There we go. This one same. Oh, nope. ah, that one was interesting. It had a double. I'm just gonna clip that off right there. 
And do we want to do this last, last one? We got a few more tiny ones in there, but we'll just hit up this last one here. And that one actually kind of is, no, that's just a funny growing piece. All right, we'll check out our haul. So these are just the pieces that we were able to cut off that were growing out of nodes. So it was not harmful to the cactus that it was growing off of. It'll still look nice. And then we have all these new pieces that we need to figure out something to do with. I also wanted to show some of the stem nodes and how well we can get growth off of these. Um, so you can see on this one, these are the spaces uh, where leaves originally were and they either fell off or I pulled them off. And you can see how there's almost entirely new plants growing on those uh, stem nodes. You can see on both of these, um, that's there. And you can still see some of the leaves that are attached. Actually, you can look in the back right there and you can see that there is a new plant that's growing from an existing leaf node also, maybe even, eh, maybe just one of them. And then another one on, on the other side where there was a leaf before. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see anytime that you're propagating from a leaf, from a succulent leaf, you are propagating from the leaf node. So it's just the term that you use for that, but that's where the roots are growing from. So you can see how nicely you can grow plants from those. It's really the same in the case of any other nodes. Um, this is one where I beheaded uh, these because they were getting atoliated, they were getting too long. And you can see on the side there, that was where a leaf was and you have pretty good growth there. And also on this one, the same case, that one's actually growing out of a leaf node also. And let's grab another. This one you can see, yeah, really, really nice plants forming there on the stem nodes where the leaves once were. And then on the other one, you can see really tiny ones that have started to grow. This is also why I say, why I always say, save your stems if you are beheading your plants because you will usually get good growth on them. As long as the soil is good and the plant is relatively healthy, you can see that even this plant is dying off a little bit, but we still have good growth on the stem. Hopefully this video has been helpful to some of you if you are looking to propagate succulents or cacti. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more with us.